guys it's the Macintosh guide and I'm back again with another video and this time we're going to be looking at iPad OS 17 now iPad OS and iOS 17 are pretty much just identical in terms of features you're going to be getting your contact cards which are updated which I didn't mention in iOS 17 um, you also get the iMessaging capabilities that are with iOS 17 so a lot of the, a lot of the features are very much the same however we're going to be looking at some of the newer features that iPad didn't actually have at all. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this one, guys. The very first feature I actually found is when I booted up into iPad OS 17. And you can see reduce interruptions with notification summary. This is a new option that you get in iPad OS 17. It's a, it's a new screen option. And you see that your notifications are now showing up from the bottom uh, like it does on your iPhone. Now, if you press and hold, and you slide over, you can see this is actually exactly like iOS. Um, you now get options of more for wallpapers. So you get your kaleidoscopes, you get your emojis, you get Unity, the Pride, collections. Interesting fact, this wallpaper right here came with the first generation of the iPad. So yeah, it's interesting to see. I obviously stuck with the normal one, um, which is what I'm gonna keep. Uh, you can also customize either of them to ensure which wallpaper you want. And then you get the functionality of adding widgets, but widgets are not added into the center, it's added onto the side. So if we select, let's say the battery widget, let's say we select carrot and we choose the snark widget that they have. Uh, let's go on fantastical and enjoy the input our events. You get the gist and let's go, we go to YouTube music and we put the music we want to listen to. You'll see that it now all just shows up like it does on my iOS on the side, but it's very translucent. It's very nice to see a subtle notifications on my iPad. So that's lock screen. Same as iOS 17, you also get interactive widgets. So if I tapped on my podcast, it will start playing my podcast, my podcast sounds, so if I just quickly press tap, you can see it's already playing with the play icon already showing. So pause it. Obviously interactive widgets are still part of the bundle here. Next app I want to show you is the health app. So on iPhone, we've had the health app for a while now, for years, um, but now we get the health app on iPad. Um, this of course, pretty much looks identical to what it did on iOS. However, it's good to see that we now see this application available on our iPad. Um, it's very essential. We, of course, prioritize our health now in the current time. So it's good to see that if you don't have an iPhone, but you've got an iPad, you can also use this application going forward. And of course, it's got the mental well-being section as well. As mentioned, mental health is very important. It's very important to make sure you're taking care of yourself. If you need help, seek the correct help that you need. I don't think anyone's mentioned this so far, but you can actually have profiles on Safari on iPadOS as well. And I believe you can also do this on iOS. Um, and it will have capabilities of iCloud syncing, I believe, in the future. Um, but it's good to see that this is also available on iPadOS. Manager also got some upgrades. You can now actually resize your stage manager application. Um, and of course you can still switch around. The limit is still four applications on the side and the application you're on currently. Um, but yeah, it's nice to see you can actually resize these to however you would like them to look. As you guys can see, as mentioned, iPad OS and iOS are pretty much identical. So all the features iOS got, iPad OS got as well, as we mentioned, the lock screens. There's a motion effect for live photo wallpapers on iPad now. You've obviously got the widgets as you always did, but live activity widgets now show up. Um, you can obviously have widgets on your lock screen as we went through interactive widgets. Again, as iOS features all coming along. Every feature for messages that iOS got, iPad OS got as well. There's a search filter functionality, which is again available on iOS and Mac OS as well. Um, you get your check-in and, and improvements in voice notes as well. But again, these are all available on iOS and Mac OS. Um, stickers, of course, guys, it's, it's all available 
and iOS as well. You can record a video or audio message when someone misses your FaceTime call. Um, this is available again on iOS and macOS as well, but it's nice to see. I did not mention this in my iOS video, but it's lovely to see that Apple have brought this on as well. Uh, you can actually FaceTime on your Apple TV, which is great. You can use your iPhone or iPad to do this. Um, so if you've got an Apple TV, well, you can now FaceTime from there as well. Um, the inclusion of Health App, which is a brilliant idea by Apple in my experience. Mental Health, uh, that you can log. PDFs, again, the same thing as you can on Mac. You can move your PDFs to pages whenever you want. Um, and link notes to, to a trip itinerary or recommended restaurants. Safari and passwords, as I mentioned as well. You get profiles and search is more relevant again. Um, you can now autofill verification codes from emails with guys. This is a game changer. This is a game changer. Do you know how many verification codes I get? This is again not just on I iPad, but on iOS as well and Mac OS. Um, keyboard, of course, you've got the same new changes. Freeform gets a new few changes. There's new drawing tools. Um, and you can also work on the side in terms of collaboration. Stage manager, you can now um, resize your applications. You can also now use external camera for FaceTime calls. Now this was available for a while, but you can also use the studio displays built-in camera. So that's a brilliant thing. I so I just don't have a five that uh, uh, you know what however much expensive it is, about fifteen hundred or sixteen hundred quid. Um spotlight again, same improvements as iOS. Uh the God Almighty, of course, don't want to talk about how she'll start being activated everywhere. Airplay again, there's some improvements on all ends. Um, you can obviously do air, airplay in hotel rooms. Um, and of course, air, AirPods got a nice update as well. So yeah, guys, there's there's loads of updates for iOS and iPadOS again because the OS is so linked together. The the features are available on either. So yeah, brilliant news to see Apple doing this, and I hope. You guys enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and there's going to be plenty more beta videos coming up as the new betas get released please do check out my other videos for watch os 10 ios 17 and of course mac os sonoma so thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one